Today I hit up my local charity shops. I've got four in the area. Unfortunately, only three of them are open. And I didn't get any footage of me in the shops today, but I do have all of the stock here. So let's go through it together. First up, we've got Sims on the GameCube. This one costs $2.99. I think I'm actually going to keep this one for my collection now. Then we've got Narnia on the PS2. All of these were now 49p. So Narnia on the PS2. Charlie's Angels on the PS2. Gears of War and Gears of War 2 on the Xbox 360. This was also 49p. Gears of War 3 on the Xbox 360. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Borderlands. Prototype. Max Payne 3. I thought that was a pretty good one. And Tomb Raider. Oh, these last two were a pound each. Funnily enough, the only one that's probably worth listing on its own is actually The Sims on the Nintendo GameCube. Just because the GameCube, they didn't print as many copies of games, so they tend to be worth a little bit more when you're trying to resell them. The plan for the rest of them is to do a Gears of War bundle and try and sell these together, because it's one, two, and three. Maybe try and get 9 99 free postage. Then I'll get the Charlie's Angels games, add them to some more PS2 games I've got downstairs, put another little bundle together, probably 12 99 plus postage. And then with the other stack, I'll put together a little Xbox 360 bundle, maybe do 12 99 free postage. I'm still trying to debate whether I should do free postage or charge for postage when doing a bundle. Normally I do free postage on a game just to try and like beat all the other competitors and get the sale. But on a bundle, I'm not sure whether it's worth doing like free postage or whether I should charge for it. What would you do? I also picked up this shirt just because I thought it was really funky. The Flash Collective. I believe it all glows in the dark or if you like charge it up with light, maybe UV light makes it pop. But it was three quid. It's all like 100% natural cotton, independent, The Flash Collective t-shirt. So I'll have to look that one up, see if it's actually worth anything. But if not, it's pretty stylish, right? Now, the final thing I picked up that I kind of want your opinion on as well is this jacket. Now, it's got Ed Sheeran, Germany and Sweden 2017 tour. And then it says FKP Scorpio. I'm not sure whether that's like the record label or who the touring company are. But my thinking is that this is like a staff jacket from the tour. So all the people that would be sort of the stewards of the arena or bringing drinks, etc., they might wear this jacket as being a part of the team. It doesn't say staff on the back or anything like that. So it's, it's kind of a classy jacket. Like maybe it was for the bouncers at the front. Who knows? But I don't think it's merch. I think it's a staff jacket. Uh, and I can't find any of these online anywhere. So if you have any information about this or what the potential value of this would be, feel free to drop me a comment, shoot me a message on Instagram. I'd love to know. But the way it stands so far, other jackets, which are like official merch for Ed Sheeran's tours, they, they're priced around like 50 to 80 quid. So because you can't actually buy this or this was never made for public sale, I think it should technically be worth even more than that. So before I list this, I do want to do a bit more research, maybe get your input on it. And yeah, I, I don't want to screw anyone over, but I want to make sure I get the most value out of it. That's everything I picked up from the charity shops. Now I'll show you what sold over the past couple of days, Friday into the weekend. First up, we sold Korarimpa on the Wii. We sold this one for $3.99 plus $2.49 postage. I've been posting everything with every recently, $2.49 as a standard. And then I've been using the fact that it's tracked in the listing. I'm sort of trying to use it as a selling point to get people to buy from me. Next up, we have this plush from Russ. This guy's name is Chaz and we sold him for £5 plus postage. Then if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this one on my stories, but I sold the Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition guide and I bundled the PS3 game with it and they sold for £17.99 plus £4 6p postage. Then we sold Left 4 Dead on the Xbox 360. This was for £10 and free postage. I was sort of having a little play around trying to see whether I would get more sales if I did free postage or paid. And it's been hit and miss, like free postage has been selling up quite quickly, but the, having a paid doesn't mean it's not going to sell. It just seems to take a little longer. I don't know. It's an interesting experiment. So far, so good. We also sold Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii for £10 plus £2.94 postage. We sold a Wii bundle. 
all of these games here for £20. I've been sitting on these for quite a long time and then we had some more Wii games come in the other day. Uh, Animal Crossing and Wii Resort mainly. They're the most valuable games in the bundle, so I stuck them in there to essentially try and just clear out the rest of them. And £20, free postage, is probably around £15 profit after fees. The last video game we sold was Borderlands The Handsome Collection on the PS4. That was for £8.99 and free postage. And then we sold some clothing. I've been making a break into the clothing. I've been getting it listed and slowly and surely it's starting to sell. But first up, we had this Middlesbrough FC Adidas training kit shirt. It's like a sweatshirt, climax, that thermal sort of material, keep you warm on the pitch. That one went for editing tom here this jumper that i said i'd sold i've just gone through my sold to try and find the screenshot and it didn't sell at all i must have dreamt last night that this had sold and then was hyping about it this morning and telling my fiance how this had sold when it hasn't at all i don't know what the hell i was talking about so this didn't sell it's still on my store and it's on there for 18.99 I also sold this England Umbro t-shirt from 2006 to 2008. I sold this one for $17.99. Free postage on that one, I think. And the final sale of the day that I've got to share with you is this Guinness puffer jacket. It's a triple XL size. Official Guinness there. Sold this one for £21 plus £4.6 p postage. I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, I was kind of unsure about clothing. I'm not sure what brands would sell, what wouldn't. So I've been watching lots of different YouTubers. That's really been helping. I've been picking up clothes in the charity shops, giving it a scan, trying to learn on the fly. And when I started feeling confident enough to sort of take a risk here or there, I picked up a few things. Slowly, I've built up my clothing pile and now i'm getting it all listed i think the most i've ever paid for a piece of clothing is the jacket i picked up today that ed sheeran one was 15 pounds i never pay anything more than a tenner normally to pick up clothes uh, and it's got to be something really nice if to be a tenner and i'll pick it up just like that jacket there i wouldn't have paid 15 pound if i didn't think i could get more than 50 for it in the return i'm trying to move towards sourcing those higher value items so i can get those bigger returns when they sell Thank you for joining me in today's video. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed and catch you in the next one. Go and watch some more videos of mine. See you there in a bizzle. Peace.